being alone. Man was the first thing that God said was good. He said, it's not good that man should be alone. I will correct me or correct him a woman. The woman is the first solution to the first problem in creation. Wow. Right? That's good. About that? I'm going to say it again. The woman is the first solution to the first problem in creation. And that was free from my friend Marcia. Right? <laughs> so let me go to Proverbs 31, which everybody knows, right? Everybody knows Proverbs 31. Go ahead. Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above roof? The heart of her husband does safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her neighbors. So everybody, everybody in the world knows Proverbs 31 scripture, right? Oh, yeah. Everybody thinks, oh, Proverbs 31 is where we first hear about the virtuous woman. But like I said, the book of Genesis is the creation. It's the foundation for everything that we've ever learned. The book of Proverbs really is missing the characteristics of a proverb of a virtuous woman. But if we go back to the book of Genesis, God had first mentioned the Proverbs woman here. First you have a godly man, which we're talking about, godly man, godly woman. Adam was a godly man. He was a righteous man up until they fell. Adam was the very resemblance of God. When God looked at Adam, he saw his son. When God created Adam, what did he do? He took Adam from the dust of the ground, breathed his own life into this man. So every time God looked at Adam, he was really looking at himself. So when God looked at himself, he said to myself, self, it's not good that man should be alone. So God was really talking about himself. Because God already knew that Eve, the virtuous woman he created for man, was already going to fail. So from the beginning of time, God said, let me create a virtuous woman. You have Eve, then you have the virtuous woman, which is the church. Right? So what, is they, what, what do these two women do? Eve, she protects her husband's anointing. The church protects the husband's anointing. What is our job as the virtuous woman of the church? Be a witness. What did the virtuous woman do? She was a witness. The virtuous woman, the church, her job is to let everybody know about God. Right? How do we do that? How do we let everybody know about God? We tell people about God. We tell people about God. So the neighborhoods, people in Memphis, people in Arkansas, people in Georgia all know about this man because of what? That virtuous woman. Adam, everybody knows about the goodness of the husband because of this virtuous woman, right? So what is this holy man and this virtuous woman? Like I said before, everything goes back to the book of Genesis. This virtuous woman. Let's see how God created this virtuous woman. God created Adam from the dust of the ground. He created Eve for which? The rib and the side of the man. Why did God create Eve from the rib? Okay. So, the purpose of the rib, a rib is very certain, right? It can be flexible because it goes wherever we go. But the purpose of the rib is to protect her husband's vital organs. His vital organs is the heart and the lungs. Okay? So really, everybody thinks that the woman is the heart of the relationship. To God's eyes, the man is the heart of the relationship. The woman is covering the heart, but the heart is in more dominion to the body. Mm. The heart, every time it pumps in and out, is pumping blood. The blood is going to the brain, it's going to the lungs, it's going to the urinary system, it's going to the thigh, it's going to the feet. If something wants to fail, when well, this heart fails to pump, what's going to happen? So that's what makes it the man is the heart of the relationship and not the woman. But even though the man is in submissiveness because he's beneath and the woman is covering, the man is still in dominion. That's what makes the man a holy man, the head of a virtuous wife. Okay? So then when you get to a point where you have this wife, a nagging wife, 
and we pray to each other. We pray for each other. We lift one another up. Okay? We keep the blood flowing from God to my husband, from my husband to me, from me to my kids. We never want to stop it where the blood is not flowing. Okay? We never want to stop it where the lungs are not breathing. Women, we're really the breath because we're going to control this breath. When you're married, women, we have more power than what we think. That's why God said all this stuff is good. Even the man was good. Then God himself said something is not right. He himself said, I need a mate. I need somebody with me that's going to be virtuous. You look at the church the same way, too. I need somebody that's going to be a virtuous woman, a virtuous husband to me. So, as marriage, married couple, one thing that I want us to remember that everything that we do, every walk of life that we do, we need to think about it. Why is my wife upset? Why is my husband upset? Instead of nagging, as a virtuous woman, we go to God. God, I don't know why my husband can in the trash in five days. Apparently something is wrong. You know, apparently something's wrong. Can somebody fix it? So, and I know we don't. <laughs> so I know we don't have enough time to so, No, you're doing awesome. Um, what I want to do is first go around and as couples, I want the man to tell me what can we do to keep the anointing flowing through his family. And as the wife, what can you do to keep your husband protected, to protect his anointing? Because that's our job is a virtuous woman. Our job is to protect the anointing of our husband at all costs. Right? At all costs. Because the first person the devil went to was Eve. Right? He went to Eve because Eve held the most power. You know that if I can make Eve fail, I got the man. And the man is connected to the flow. So he didn't go to the man first. Because the man already connected to the flow. The first thing he said was, this is woman you gave me. You know, she calls me to see you. So as women, virtuous women. Women are not as strong as what they hear Oh, no, the devil talk to the yeah, he, he's gonna talk more to the woman than he is into the man's ear. Because the woman has the ability to the cut off has the woman has yeah. the ability to cut off the supply of the anointing. Okay, that's how powerful a virtuous woman is. Just like the church. The church represents the woman, the bride of Christ. The body of Christ has the ability to cut off the anointing. The enemy's coming after anybody who's coming out of the church. The church can cut the anointing off right there. The devil be in, he'll, he'll feel like he's in victory, that he's won. But we know that that's not true, right? So what I want us to do as couples is for the man to tell us, what can I do to make sure the anointing stays flowing through my family? Women, what can we do to maintain, to protect my husband's anointing, to protect his lungs and his vital organs so we can stay connected to the blood? Right? Y'all look at me like, I don't know what you're talking about. No, no. Right? Yeah, okay. So who, who wants to go first? What couple wants to go first? Um, yeah, y'all gonna point to me. Y'all go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I'll> go. <laughs> what can I do? What is the question here? What can I do to... We're not saying no one's not already doing it. Just yeah, I know what you mean. What can I do more to just kind of... To keep it anointing. <laughs> Pretty much stay connected to God. That's that's the thing. Um, as, a, as a man, yes, definitely. As a man, and I, I, I'll try to hesitate to say the word prayer because everybody <laughs> it comes through me like that. But as a man, I think my duty is to, to stay connected to God, to love Him more. Because in reality, He teaches us how to love. You can't love without Him. So, so to do more for Him, to uh, speak to Him more, to to Him. More. That's what I would say. And I'm not going to take too much time. Um. <laughs> um, so, in my case, what can I do to protect him? Or to protect his anointing? Protect my anointing. Protect him. I'll say be supportive of him. And, uh, but you are. You like running away. <laughs> uh, pretty much be there for her when she needs me most. Just different situation and of course praying. Help 
Just like <laughs> Yeah, your turn. Hold it to, to uh, Nathan. That's good. You're good. Nathan. Okay, let's come by. He's going to come by as well. Uh, we can't see Leah. <laughs> Squat down. As a loving husband. Oh, sorry, it's my God. Yes. We're involved in the baby, too. I'm just joking. <laughs> I say, like, my whole purpose is to uh, be a strong, connect with God through prayer, a strong witness to God through God and religion, you know, and a strong support to God you know, through my service. Right. And by doing that, you know, you know, you know it helps to put God in my hands. Right. Amen. Right. 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 That's the she camera show. Continue now. You got to close, though. You got to give me a close, man. Jordan's back. Oh, she's back. 
Oh. Oh, worry about it. We gotta close it. Okay, give it up for them. That was awesome. Nathan's gonna go. Wait, Nathan. Wait, Nathan. So, then her. Okay, I'm going ahead.